All right, what's up everyone? It's Coney here. Uh, Coney20XX. My Mimi melee tag is Cumfox that uh, I entered brackets with. My real name is Brandon and uh, you know, I play Super Smash Bros. Melee and I'm a Fox man. I've been playing for damn near almost 10 years now. It's crazy to think about. So, like a lot of people in my era, I'm a dot kid, but I was a brawl kid at first, you know, just playing casually. I had a friend who ended up eventually got into Melee, but like most people that you meet in Melee, or some people, you know, they disappear over the years, get into other things. But uh, we were competing overnight, uh, like a sleepover type thing, and uh, I was playing Brawl Marth, so I looked up a Marth tutorial because I wanted to beat him, and uh, I found a Melee Marth guide. I didn't know it was Melee at the time, I just saw Marth guide by Ken, Sephiroth Ken, the goat, Ken Hoang, shout out my goat. Uh, Ludwig didn't beat him, that's collusion, shout out to Zane. But I found out Melee was still a game, so then I looked up a set, I saw Axe winning at like Kings of Cali 3 or something. Um, and I'm not like a huge Pikachu fan or anything, I'm a fucking Fox man, I don't like getting gimped. But uh, I found Melee, I liked it, and uh, then I found the Smash documentary and then I was hooked. And then I went to, I feel like this is rare, I went to my first tournament within like a month of finding the game. So I sucked, I didn't know how to wave dash, I was really proud after a match for wave dashing in it. Which now that I think back to is like, bro, I could do that with my eyes closed, so. Yeah, that's how I got into Melee, from Brawl and then uh, the Smash Talk. Uh, it was a mayhem, uh, hosted by undisclaimed person that we can't talk about anymore. But uh, yeah, it was a sick series. It was hosted in San Gabriel, California, and uh, it was hosted at a Magic the Gathering shop. A fun fact, it even got so big at one point, this is my first tournament, but there's a tournament with 300 plus people where there is no AC back to the old days of Smash, uh, where Hungrybox showed up and some random, not random, on the major scene, some random Smasher named Jace, an old school Falcon that's a legend. Uh, almost beat HBox there, but he didn't, so. Little lore, what was the topic? Sorry, I'm just jumping back in the hundred place. I remember being super nervous for sure. I showed up early, like earlier than anyone else. I was the first people there besides the TO. I had my little squad with me and we had CRTs, you know, the noobs bringing the CRTs to the tournament. And uh, I played some Pikachu who fucked me up for my first friendlies ever. And uh, I went like one in six in round robin pools, uh, being nervous for every match. But yeah, that was my first tournament ever. So shout out the goat Seth Roth Ken. I started as a Marth main because of the documentary. Now I'm on team Fuck Marth. Uh, I'm a Fox main, but I switched to Falco because I like West Balls as Falco. That was like during a different era too, where melee was just all about you know fucking and open, opening people up, being aggressive, blah blah blah, all the shit that doesn't work to CC anymore. But then uh, eventually I was just practicing melee by myself. So I picked up Fox because I could practice the movement. Uh, and then probably like a couple months later, 20XX came out. But that's how I picked up Fox, I like the tech skill. As you see, I have this clothing brand, melee related clothing brand called tech skill. So, you know, I fuck with being fast on the controller and uh, pressing a lot of buttons. What is my, oh, purple. Really? Purple, yeah, I like purple. The story is actually, yeah, album, Life of Pierre IV, uh, an album I fuck with. And the cover is just only purple, it's just purple. If you don't know who that is, it's funny. Pierre Bourne sounds like it's a, like a classical artist, but it's just a, Playboy Cardi's producer, so like, you know, not not a classical artist, but uh, I've been fucking with purple ever since. I used to grow up liking red, but purple, yeah, purple now, yeah. Yeah, I like Playboy Cardi, Pierre Bourne, Ken Carson. I definitely sound like a super basic kid in that type of wave. It's very funny. We were talking about Fulcrum beforehand. I fuck with Fulcrum's music. Yeah, I'm definitely blinking on a, a lot of other people, but those came to mind, so yeah. Dude, I suck at every other game besides Smash, but I'm definitely a Pokemon kid. I suck competitively. I'm fucking trash, but Gen 3, I fuck with Pokemon Emerald, and I grew up playing Pearl. It's funny, I didn't want to sleep right at Smash Camp. I didn't want to sleep on the bunk beds, but when I was young, one of my fondest memories is staying up late on my bunk where my parents can see me, you know what I mean? And uh, just playing till like the seventh or eighth gym badge in one night under the covers. So yeah, I, I fuck with Pokemon, and uh, I like Minecraft, but uh, bro, I sound like I'm four years old, and yeah. Those are the games I play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, Coney comes from Coney, Coney 2012 or whatever, because that was a thing back when I started. Like I said, I've been playing for almost 10 years, but obviously this tag happened before then. But I won the basketball tournament today, but I'm a skinny fuck. I used to run cross-country, and uh, we had these uh, get-togethers in Big Bear with the team get-togethers, training sessions, you know what I mean? So we'd bring our Wii for Brawl, and we'd all have fucked up tags that we don't need to repeat. But I would use Coney, which is, uh, you know, I still use Coney. Uh, so it just kind of stuck from then. I had to sign up for my first tournament and put Coney. Come Fox was a smurf that I meant to use for one tournament as a joke and then it kind of stuck. That's, I don't know. <laughs> That's Come Fox. Funny because they both work with each other now. Obviously there's the, the, the dumb normie smash answer answer of Ludwig. Fucking, he kind of he kind of inspired me. Obviously I know Slime personally, my goat. He inspired me too with Bad Melee. I have my own little uh, The Button Pressers podcast. But I'm starting back up after this because I got to talk. I got to talk my shit. I won the basketball tournament. Yeah, obviously Ludwig, because uh, you know you got to yoink and twist and steal 
steal but twist ideas and uh, I even going to twist some of his ideas but I want to give credit to my old goat Moist Critical he was the first person to ever make me laugh out loud when I was a kid bro I was on my eye touch laying there late at night way when I should have been asleep and I was on his channel watching like his Pokemon video and Moist Critical made me like laugh out loud and I was like scared like my parents would like come and find me but it's crazy he's still making content today and that like we're still fucking all watching him like that literally blows my mind and people don't talk about that enough shout out Moist Critical and Ludwig yeah uh, it's a hard. I've done some traveling. I studied history in school, so I did some travel for that in London and Iceland. Random answer. I used to live in Japan too. I like Japan. Military kid. I'm not a military huge fan, but it's what I, that's what's my life. So aside from that, Svalbard is a place I want to go, but I don't want to live there. If you look at a map, it's like just some random ass glacier. But fun fact. And yeah, so. Yeah, it's uh, at Coney20XX on YouTube. I've been making a lot of GameCube history videos. I think if you know if you like Smash content, you're definitely gonna like that. I also make other types of content uh, involving Smash. You know, we had some features featuring Trey the Trash Man, the homie. Um, and yeah, I have my podcast, The Button Pressers, which I, again, I was just talking about. I won the basketball tournament. I'm about to be talking my shit. Uh, I did pretty good in bracket. You know, they seeded me, you know, however well. Got 17th, I'm gonna go talk my shit. So that'll be there. And then I have my clothing brand, at TechSkill on Twitter. Uh, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna drop something soon, hopefully. But uh, yeah, this is cool clothing that, uh, the idea is it's melee related clothing that doesn't really, you know, scream that like, you know, just have all this melee stuff on it, like just shines everywhere, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Just simple, played, simple laid back melee uh, clothing, yeah. So yeah, at Coney20XX on YouTube and Twitter. And yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks, Yep, fun. Thanks, brother.